Hobby people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to apply impressed press on nails that you can find at your local Walmart or drugstore such as Walgreens, CVS, etc. Um, I am a huge fan of these press on nails. So this here is the Kiss Impress press on nails. This is actually a Halloween edition. I got these a couple years back. Um, and I think I paid like a dollar or two bucks for them. And um, yeah, I wanna show you all how to apply these and get them the last two plus weeks. I've actually been wearing these nails for the last, I would say two months because I just haven't had time to do my own nails because life's been busy. I've been having to work, take care of my little one, etc. And so these always come in clutch for me. And so um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I apply these to get them to last for two plus weeks. So first I wanna show you all what's included in this kit. I just chose a basic nude set. Um, so it's really quick and easy to apply these nails too. another reason why I love them but what's included in the kit is you get a cuticle stick you get a prep pad and it comes with this really cute um, little nail file that's included that you can use to rough up the surface of your nails I actually do use this um, when I'm using this kit especially if I'm traveling and using it um, but yeah I love that it comes with really all the essentials that you need um, then it comes with the actual press on nails themselves. One thing you'll want to do um, is go through and size out all of the nails. Um, one of the things I love about the Impress press on nails is that if you look really closely here, they have the number um, of the press on nail here on the tab. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has like a number three on it. Okay, so that's really nice. Um, these press on nails are really, really soft and flexible, and I love that they're really, really thin at the cuticle area, giving a nice, like, natural fit to the nail. Um, another thing is, too, you want to apply these nails with the tab down, like the tab part that's hanging down, that's what goes towards your cuticle. I think some people have applied them upside down before. And actually on the back here, it shows you that. Um, but yeah, you're just supposed to put it to your cuticle and size it out. So um, I've actually already went through and sized out all of my nails. So I'm, I don't actually need to do that. I've actually went through and I've sized out all of my nails. So I don't need to do that. I wanted to save some time here on camera, but they come with sizes all the way from one I mean zero all the way up to 11 so it's plenty of things it's plenty of sizes in there and this is the hand that I already have done I want to show you guys how you want to fit the nail to the nail bed so when when you're picking a press on nail for your nails you want to make sure that um, it fits side wall to side wall so you see how on this nail it touches my side wall or well, not necessarily touch it but it, it comes really really close to my side wall and then on this side, it comes really, really close to the sidewall. That's what you want for your press on nail so that it can look as natural as possible. Okay. So I, like I said, I've already applied this. Um, I want to prep my, I want to show you guys how I prep my nails for this, this particular press on set. It's really easy, really simple. Um, so I am going to go in with the cuticle stick that was included in the, well, actually, no, I'm not. Cause this mug look like it's going to hurt my cuticles. No. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this cuticle stick all jacked up. So I'm gonna just use another wooden cuticle stick to push back my cuticles here. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go back and you wanna push back your cuticles. So I'm gonna push my cuticles back really quick just to expose any um, dead protein that might be on the nail or dead skin. And all I do is whatever comes up for me scraping it with my little wooden stick is all I worry about getting up when I'm doing prep for uh, these type of press on nails. Anything I might be able to get up with my finger, I do the same. But I don't worry too, too much about heavy nail prep with these because it's really not necessary. So after you've pushed back your cuticles, um, and this is a really important step, you want to push back all of your cuticles for your press-on so that you can slightly tuck the press-on nail underneath the cuticle because that's going to make it look a little bit more natural and add to the longevity, okay? So after you do that, then you want to go through and you want to buff the surface of your nails. I am going to go ahead and use this little mini nail file that comes with the kit. And again, I really want to use the products that's included so you guys can see that you really don't need much of anything else. I forgot to tell you guys, these are the instructions here, so definitely take your time, go through and read them if you all want to know proper application. Oh, that's cute. 
that's nice that they include this little sheet here where they actually put on here like what your nail size is and once you find your size you put it on the sheet so you can keep it organized I think that's so cute but that's essentially how I lay mine out anyway so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and file the the surface of the nails and I normally bend this little piece of paper back Oh, I guess it comes off okay yeah let me just pull it off here it's pretty sticky so I'll just kind of stick it onto my finger and go ahead and rough up the surface of my nails okay and it don't take much to get the surface of the nails roughed up but you want to also make sure you get really in that cuticle area when you roughen up the surface of the nails you don't want to leave any shine on the nail okay do that over here too you want to do that to all the nails okay Okay, so this is what it looks like after the surface of all the nails are buffed out and ready to go. One other thing that I like to do is take in the size of my nails because um, sometimes the press-on nails uh, don't go all the way to the edge of the nail. So, I mean, you can do this with this little tiny file, but I'm going to be honest with y'all, um, I want to save some time. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the size of my nails just really so that, again, so that the nail doesn't hang off the side of the press-on where it looks a little bit more clean. So I'm going to do that really quick. Alrighty, so this is what nails look like after the cuticles have been pushed back and the side ones have been pulled in. Um, if you want to, you can actually clip your nails down the size. But because these particular impress press on nails are just ever so slightly um, or ever so slightly longer, I think these are considered medium. Um, I like to keep a little bit of my nail there, mainly because it actually covers up more of the nail glue. Like on a lot of the press ons, like the nail glue kind of comes out a little bit. I'm okay with having that stick onto my natural nail. Um, and I'll show you how to fix it if it there's more overhang so like on this nail you can tell that there's a little bit more glue especially on this nail here right there's a lot of glue that's exposed here right and I'll show you guys how to deal with that a little bit later so next thing you want to do is go in with this alcohol prep pad they are not kidding do not miss this step this is probably one of the most important steps in making sure your nail nails last because this is going to remove all the dirt and debris from your nail plate okay so you want to go through and make sure you get all in the nooks and crannies of your nail bed okay so one thing i like to do i like to make sure i'm getting in that side wall in that cuticle area and then just really dehydrating that nail bed okay so you'll do that on all the nails Then after you do that, you'll let them dry. Okay, so now that the nails are all dry, it's time for the application. So what you wanna do first is make sure you got the right size nail. You'll pull off, I pull off the tab from the back forward, okay? What you wanna do is you'll wanna slightly tuck the nail underneath your cuticle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the nail down and I'm gonna actually I kind of squeeze the nail a little bit too so I'll squeeze the nail a little bit and place it underneath the cuticle then I'll let it go right make sure that it's this that it's even and it is and then I just press down and I continue to press down one thing I do is I press side side then middle and then I roll it right and then I continue to just press down, press down, press down. And I press down for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. And also too, another good tip for when you're applying these press on nails is to do them right before bed. I found that if you get these wet before the four hours or six hours is up, then they will not last, okay? So you have to kind of let this these uh, nail adhesive tabs set, so to speak. And once they set, they're on, they're on really good. So again, you just pull the tab off, okay? You'll slightly tuck. 
Oh, okay. I want to show you too. This is what the inside of the nail looks like. So this is the adhesive tab that's already in there. Okay. And so you'll go ahead and slightly tuck that underneath your cuticle like so. Then release the sides and make sure it's even. Oops. Make sure it's even and it is. And then just press down, right? And then that's when you start to press. You press on the side, press on the side, press in the middle and then roll it. Okay, and rolling it really gets those grooves and crevices out of that tab and make sure it is stuck on really good. Okay, and then yeah, you just repeat the process on all the nails. And I do always save my thumbs for last because I find that it's easier to peel the adhesive tabs and such. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my thumbs. And again, you will slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle like so. Release the sides. I don't like where that's placed. Again, you will slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle like so. And then make sure it's placed where you want it to be. It is. And then you start to press down. Again, sidewall, sidewall, and then roll, and then press down in the middle, okay? And I'll do the same thing for this nail over here. Alrighty, so all the nails have been fully applied. Next thing you want to do, oops, next thing you want to do is you want to go in and file off that little tab that comes at the end of all the press-ons. These don't seem like they have it too bad, but I still like to go ahead and crisp it up the shape with it. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. You can also do it with the file that came with the kit. So you know you just go through, file off that little tab that comes with most standard press-on nails. Okay. Okay, and you are all set. So application is done. Now, a few key tips that's going to help you make your press on nails last. One tip to make sure that the um, whatever adhesive tab is still showing underneath your nails is to apply some clear acrylic powder and that way nothing, no, no dirt or debris can get stuck in it. So I'm going to go in and use my Young Nail Speed Clear. You can honestly use any white acrylic or any powder. I actually used to use like translucent setting powder like my makeup <laughs> to do this but then I realized I could just do it with my um, with my acrylic. So yeah, you'll want to take just a little bit on the brush and then you'll go ahead and pat it underneath the nail. And you're just really putting powder in that exposed um, sticky tab so that no actual um, dirt and debris can get stuck in it. So it's like you're beating it to the punch. That way, you know, when it's time to, you know, be out and about doing whatever with your nails, nothing actually gets stuck in it, okay? And I do do that on both hands, like so. And do you see how that exposed area, and you see how that exposed area turns white? That means that you got the acrylic in there and nothing else that gets stuck to it. Once the acrylic powder is applied to the underneath of the nails, um, and again, when you look underneath the nail now, you can see where that adhesive tab was still exposed, but now you see that that acrylic powder has filled it in. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my little press-on set turned out. It is super duper cute. I'm loving the bling nail and the cute neutral mauve nails. I, it's funny because I think it actually kind of matches my background. It's kind of matches my background here, but yeah, let me know what you all think about these press-ons and the application and the prep. Here's a couple of tips that you will want to 
Um, make sure you do to ensure that these nails last for two plus weeks. Number one is do not get your hands wet and do not apply cuticle oil after application. I know that we're in the habit of applying cuticle oil after you get your fresh mani. Don't do that. Leave the nails dry. You don't want any type of moisture actually to touch these nails. If you do have to wash your hands or cleanse your hands, just use hand sanitizer because it's alcohol based and so it won't it actually absorb into the skin. It won't actually affect um, these nails kind of go ahead and um, fully setting. Um, second tip, like I said, it is best to do these nails right before bed because when you go to bed, you won't be moving your hands around, you won't be getting them in water, anything like that. That's going to allow that sticky tab to fully set. And once it sets, it's really hard to actually get off the nail. Um, third thing is, is as these nails are setting, one thing I like to do is just for the next 30 minutes to an hour, I go through and I constantly keep pressing the nail down. And I just want to make sure there's no air bubbles in that adhesive tab so that again these nails can really get some good adhesion okay and then I think that's really it those are the big tips I have the biggest thing is do not get your hands wet don't put any cuticle oil on it so yeah your, your cuticles might be a little crusty for 2.5 seconds but at least these nails will last and so I'm gonna go ahead and go about my regular day-to-day -day life I'm gonna do a wear test on these nails and I'll try to come back in a week and show you guys how they're holding up okay happy people I'm back with a one week update just let you all know how these personal nails are holding on they are holding on and going strong so this is what they are looking like after one week of wear um, there's ever so slight new growth here at the cuticle area but because I slightly tucked them underneath the cuticle they actually look like I just did them um, on this side also still just a smidge just a smidge of new growth there not much at all I did not want my cuticles y'all um, but yeah this is how the nails are holding up after after about one week of wear, I've been doing a lot with these nails. I've been moving things, reorganizing, spring cleaning, um, packing boxes, moving things. And so they're holding up really well. I didn't apply top coat, didn't apply any base coat to them. I just wore them as is. Um, the Kiss Press on nails, they do tend to last pretty good. I normally can get about two weeks of wear um, just applying them with the little adhesive that comes with it. I will say on this hand here, the only thing I noticed is that there's some bending on this nail. And again, you guys, I've been doing a lot of moving, a lot of um, packing of boxes, unpacking of boxes. I've helped friends move some things. And so um, they bent at one point. And so I think that's the only thing that I'm experiencing with the nails here. Just a little bit of bending here at the tips, corners, but nothing that, you know, the average person is going to see as you're wearing your nails out and about in public, right? It's just something that you might notice. Um, but to the naked eye, you know, these nails still look fantabulous. Okay. So I am going to keep these on maybe like another week and then after that I'm going to show you guys how to remove them. I think my last set of impressed press on nails I kept on for about three weeks and they lasted just fine. Um, I guess I could show you guys there's no lifting on the nails either at all. And again, it's really important when you apply them to make sure you let them set, okay? You have to let them set, otherwise you will have lifting, you will have your hair snagging. Oh, this one actually has just a slight bit of lifting here. Um, The only one that has real big lifting is the thumbnail, and it's lifting right here, which is like a weird area to be lifting. <laughs> and it's only on that side of the nail. I'm not experiencing it over here. I'm not sure what happened over here, but um, nonetheless, it's not anything uncomfortable. No lifting on this thumbnail. So um, it's all about application you guys it's all about prep and application so um yeah like i said i'm gonna do another one week maybe even two weeks depending on the amount of time that i have and then i'll show you guys how super easy it is to remove these so yeah i will be back with another update shortly okay i'm back with a two week update and i want to show you guys how these press on nails have been lasting um, so this is what my left hand is looking like. There's definitely been some new growth on the nails as you all can see and there also has been some discoloration and like some cracking on the nails. Um, I wore a brand new pair of black jeans and unfortunately they tinted the tips of these nails so I ended up having to kind of file off that black tint but you can still kind of see it on the nail is not as clear as the other one. And then on the surface of the nail, there's just some scratches and things like that. But overall, these nails held up really well. This is the other hand. Again, you can see that slight new growth here after two weeks of wear, right? On this fingernail, you can still see a little bit of that cracking at the tip of the press-on. And then here on the pinky finger, you can see there's just a little bit of wear and tear of the color um, of the burgundy nail. I did notice, too, I meant to mention this when I applied the nails, that... Um, 
the glitter nails are actually of a, a better quality like they're thicker they're like a firmer press on than the colored ones because the colored ones are pretty like flexible um, I'm gonna show you guys the underneath of the nails y'all can see the underneath of the nails stayed clear and dust free right and that's because I applied that powder so applying that powder underneath the press-ons when that extra you know sticky tab is exposed really does help prevent dirt dust and debris from collecting underneath your press-on nails okay and as far as lifting is concerned there is slight lifting at this point not bad though right I mean I could still kind of wear these nails a little bit longer if I wanted to the only one that's actually lifting is the um, the ring finger Oh, I think I said middle finger last time. Yeah, ring finger. Um, and that's happening on both of the nails, actually. This one's lifting even more. Um, and then on this one, actually, the pinky's lifting pretty bad, too. Right? So last time I did my update, that was lifting um, on the inside of the thumb right here. Now it's starting to be a little bit on the outside. Um, no lifting on this thumb at all. Um, slight lifting on the index. Good here. A lot of lifting on the ring and no lifting on this pinky so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i remove these nails i literally just use a cuticle stick to remove them okay um but yeah overall the shaping of the nails lasted good um you know i recommend the impress press on nails because they're just they're quick they're easy these nails retail for like seven bucks at walmart so to get some press ons that take five minutes to wear and if you wanted to get two weeks to wear definitely definitely recommend it so let me go ahead and remove these really quick all i do is i put my cuticle stick underneath the press on nail like so and then you kind of have to break the seal right because these things are still on pretty good you kind of have to break the seal of that glue that is not the glue with the sticky tab that's on the nail you see how it's still kind of tough but once you break the seal then this pops off and you see that glue is actually still on my nail bed y'all this stuff is strong right it's very very strong so let me go ahead and show you guys again so you just again want to get underneath that that press on nail and break that seal I normally hold the tip and then just press forward while pressing up I press up and forward so that I'm not messing up my nail plate you gotta break the seal like so once the seal is broken the press on nail will pop right off okay so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these press ons really quick doesn't take long at all probably like you know 10 minutes or well, probably like you know five minutes to remove and the nice thing about these is they are quick and easy to remove unlike some other types of press on nails that I've shown um, and y'all can see my natural nails are still here and healthy but I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this one off too and again really easy to remove you just pop it off and like I said even though it's easy to remove it still was on there pretty good right so you can either do one or two things to remove this glue you can either gently file it off or you can remove it with some acetone so um, I normally just take a, a file and I just slightly file off that glue so I'll go through and do that really quick you see how it just kind of flakes off real quick just really really lightly I'm talking you don't even want to apply any pressure as you're doing this you just want that glue to just file off but if you wanted to you can also um, just like that so now the glue is off the nail right but if you wanted to you can also use acetone to wipe this off um, I just find it quicker and easier to just use um, my file so yeah I'm gonna go through and do that and I'll be right back Again, you see how easy it is? All you're doing is just following it to where it just pops right off, you know? And um, like I said, you can also take this off with acetone, but I really just enjoy being able to pop these on and not have to worry about my nails for a little while until I actually have time to sit down and do them. Um, and as you can see, you know, my natural nails, they're still growing out really nicely underneath the press on. So this is a great way too to allow your nails to grow out if you're somebody who wants to wear your natural nails and you have a hard time growing them um, so yeah this is really like I said just something to have my nails done I used to do this I used to wear these press-ons these impress press-on nails all the time especially when um, I used to travel for work I used to have a job where I traveled all across the United States doing sales and I didn't I just never had time to do my nails never had time to really do any type of self-care so I just kind of did all of my self-care myself like doing my hair doing my nails all that good stuff so that I can look put together on the road um, so then you want to go in with some alcohol actually not even alcohol now you want acetone so I'm gonna go in with 
yeah I'm gonna go in with a little bit of acetone here like so and then you'd use that to finish wiping off the nail bed and then to get rid of any like glue residue that might just be hanging out on your nail still like so okay and yeah you see you see how the healthy nails are looking now so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this one off and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on these again really easy to remove enter it underneath the nail hold the tip like kind of press this so with your thumb you're pressing the press on forward with the cuticle stick you're pressing it up and then forward and that really allows you to be able to pop it right off you see very quick and easy again you lift get under press forward with thumb press up and forward with the cuticle stick you're doing it at the same time just want to break that so you guys see how tough this this is to get off that's how you know these nails are actually on here and again when you let it set overnight what what allows this to happen is when you let that sticky tab set overnight once you let it set overnight it really does kind of harden a bit to where um, it's attached to your nail um, it's attached to your nail bed so if you all follow those tips that I gave you at the beginning um, with you know how to make them last you won't have any issues making these last year I can barely get this off right like it's hard to get off so yeah there you go and now the seal broke so then it's easy to come off so then all I have next now is here I'm trying to find a lifting area under here again you push back with the hand and then break the seal so now that so you see how the sticky tab is on here right here on the cuticle stick that's the seal I'm trying to break so once it's broken now the nail will pop off right so once that seal is broken you're good and with that seal there again it lets you know how the nails were on they were on really good so that's the difference this is the residue you'll have so again I'm going to show you guys real quick how to remove it you just want to go through gently file that surface okay and this process does not take long at all Alrighty. So yeah, everything has been removed. So then I'm gonna go in again on this hand with a little bit of acetone and just remove it from all the nails. Remove the rest of that little bit of glue from all the nails. Like so, and as you can see, surface is wiping clean. As you all can see, this is how it looks. The surface is all clean on the nails and they are ready for the next set of press-ons. The last thing I do like to do after I've removed press-ons is I like to go in with some cuticle oil and I'll just apply that to all of the nails like so. And that just really helps keep the nails nice and healthy. I do like to apply them on my nail bed as well. And that's like I said, to make the nails all nice, good, and healthy, okay? Keep them nice and shining bright like a diamond, okay? <laughs> yeah, look at that. The nails are all good and ready to go. Y'all see how quick and easy these are? So I really do enjoy using the Impress Press-On Nails. Yeah, I just love wearing these. Like I said, I, I've, worn, I've been wearing Press-Ons for years, you guys. So I have all types of tips, tricks, and hacks to make them last. These are definitely well worth it, especially when you're in a pinch. You can go to any local drugstore, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. Pick you up a quick press of Press-Ons for like, you know, $7, $8, and you're good for two weeks. Like, So if you're going on vacation last minute, quick work trip, wedding, anniversary, baby shower just pop these on and they last and they look good and honestly nobody can tell that they're press-ons I get compliments on my nails all the time when I wear them um, and I believe I have a discount code with kiss random story they actually reached out to me to be an affiliate with them um, I signed up for it I'm not really sure if I finished the process or not but if I did I'll leave it here on the screen I think you get like 10 15 percent off um, and so you can save even more money um, 
uh, you can save like 10, 15% off of their website, the KISS website. Um, so if you want to order them online, you can. Um, so I'll leave that discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys want to get them at a discounted price. But yeah, y'all, stay tuned to the channel. I do have more press on nail videos coming soon. Um, I do also have a press on nail playlist. So I'll leave that um, link down below as well. But I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.